YouTube tarot reader, Lisa Lee, has been found using bad language during her twice-weekly live streams. In a shocking turn of events, it has also been discovered that she will not tell you what you want to hear, only what you need to know. The internet is in collective shock that authenticity is alive and well in this corner of the YouTube meta space. Do not watch if you are easily offended. Yes, indeed. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and good night. Oh, sounding like the Truman Show, aren't I? Good evening, everybody. I do hope you are well. I am just one second behind. I'm just clicking on subscriber mode and slow mode because my brain did not do that before I started live, so I'm doing it right now. There you go. So you do have to be a subscriber to be able to chat on the channel, which means you do have to be a, dis a, a, a describer a subscriber to get yourself a reading um, to be able to ask questions and things like that. So then let me just uh, do a couple of housekeeping type things. Tarot is for entertainment purposes only. You do get, uh, you do make all of your own decisions about your own life. Okay. It's really important that tarot is just for maybe a bit of advice and guidance. Um, we have to say for entertainment purposes only because if I say something is about to happen in the cards and you knowing that, that changes your action so that that thing doesn't happen anymore, you could then turn around and sue me for saying, well, that thing didn't happen, even though I could turn around and say, but yes, but the reason it didn't happen is because you didn't go to work that Wednesday thinking that your special person would be knocking on your front door and actually it was in work. Do you know what I mean? So there's, there's reasons we do that. Also, um, Tarot should never be used to replace uh, professional advice, be that legal advice, medical advice, uh, counselling advice or financial advice. Do not use a tarot reader or any psychic or anybody on this platform for professional advice in those areas. OK, if, if it's a medical complaint, go to a doctor. If it's a legal complaint, see a lawyer or a barrister or whatever. Do not use anybody on the platform for play in place of that the lawyers here will tell you um that their their streams or their q and a's or whatever it is are not legal advice and there are reasons for that also you do have to be 18 years of age or over to get a tarot reading here now the reason for that is youtube's rules but also like sometimes some of the things that we discuss on this channel especially in relationships and things like that some of the things can be really meant for adults only i'm not saying we're going to you know naughty naughty things but if we're talking about certain things they're adult subjects you know what i mean so that's why we do that as well um so then don't forget excuse me i've got mm -hmm, i've got a hair in my mouth you know when you get a hair and it's stuck on your lip and you can't quite you can feel it but you can't quite pull it off anyway that was that so then as always as always, I apparently start the stream now by knocking things into my stream deck. Two weeks running. Two weeks running. My gosh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This time it was a can of energy drink, which I think it was last time as well. I know, right? Bear with. <laughs> what am I even like? What am I even like? You can't even take me anywhere, even to just my back room now that means the mouse isn't going to work properly uh, and everything there is damp so give me one second i need to find some sort of book or something i don't care too much about that would do to put the mouse on there we go right <laughs> oh god it's a it's a good job i've got a new altar cloth isn't it which you'll be seeing at some point very soon oh my god the mouse is wet and everything well, you don't do things by halves, do we, on this channel? If I'm going to knock something over, let's knock it over just as I go live once again. Oh, the mouse really isn't working. Right, okay, okay, okay. Um... <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, yeah, right, okay. What have I got around me that I can use? Bear with everybody. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> it is amusing, though. 
Only I could do this two weeks running. Right, okay. I will use this board. It is an astrology board. Now, for those of you that know me, know that I do, I do nothing. I don't know anything about astrology. Maybe if I studied this board, I might. But what that would mean is having to, you know, study astrology, which is yeah, not my thing. So I'm going to use this to keep the mouse on to make it all work, hopefully. There we go. Sorry, everyone. That's better. Everything is now working. Gosh. Right. Let's have a look. <laughs> let me have a look let me have a look so good evening everybody let's have a look uh who is here on the live stream uh we've got <laughs> i can't believe chaos 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 uh oh look so we've got oh i've got a super chat just popped in uh Bryn mrc thank you for the super chats uh i will have a look at that yours is the first reading my darling so we'll have a look at that in just a second. Good evening to Annie. Uh, hello, Annie. Good evening to Holland. Thank you, Holland. Good evening to Patricia. Good evening, Patricia. Um, good evening to, oh, did I just see Neens? Yes, I did. Neens O'Day. Good evening to you, my darling. Uh, good evening to Mr. Lynn. Hello, my sweetheart. How are you? Um, good evening to Shivani. Good evening to Wolf Boyle. You've not been here for a Wolf Boyle. You've not been here for a while, Wolf Boy, as I'm trying to say. Hi, peeps. Sorry I had to leave the other day as my care has arrived. Can't believe in two weeks I send in my final assignment and complete the first year of uni. Well done. It does feel like that time's flown. It really does. It really does. Wowza. Um, so then, uh, Bryn, I've got your question in. We will be opening up live chats. Um, not live chat, sorry, live readings a little bit later on as we go. So how do you get a reading on this channel? There are two ways to do it. The first way, as uh, Bryn MRC has done, is to send a super chat. That guarantees your reading is up next, or in this case, the first reading, um, the first cab off the rank. And it also then means that you get a longer reading and 10% of any of the money that comes via uh, the super chats once YouTube takes its 30% cut. Um, the rest of it, 10% goes to Fight Bladder Cancer, which is a, a charity here in the UK. And the other 10% and another 10%, sorry, goes to uh, Bladder Cancer UK. So then that is how you do it. I haven't got a round open yet, Annie. You need to bear with us. We will open up a free round in a bit, my darling, because I've got a super chat question in and they take priority. Right then, just again with the, the housekeeping, please do bear in mind that anything you put on the Internet is on the Internet for life. OK, anything you share tonight could potentially be seen in 10 years time by a future lover, a future spouse, a future employer, the government, whoever else. You know what I mean? Um, it really, really can. So please be careful for all of that. Um, so let me have a quick look. Uh, right. Um, I think we're just going to crack on tonight. I think we're just going to crack on. Mods, have I said all my usual opening guff? Like the, have, have I covered everything I need to say? I think so. I think I have. Um, do, do, do disclaimer. Yep. I've done all of that. I think I'm ready to roll. So then how would you get a reading on this channel? As I say, the first way is to send a super chat. The second way is to wait till I open up a free round and then I will open up a, uh, I will choose one of those questions. Sorry, at random. So Annie select and copy your question. I will get to that at some point. Um, or rather I will get to opening, sorry, I will get to open a free round at some point. So post that comment back in when that happens. Um, right then, everybody. So let me have a quick look. And here we go. Let's go straight across to the other camera. Now, I have just filmed something. My witch casket box turned up at some point today um, and was placed in our safe place. Now, what that means, though, is that I didn't even know it turned up until, uh, what, half past five, quarter to six? So I've just filmed my witch casket unboxing. That's going to go up probably later this evening. It's the only video, the pre-recorded video, that the members don't get way in advance because of the way that YouTube's algorithm works and the way that the, you know, if you're the first one to have this up, you do get a bit of a boost. So that's why that is the only video excluded from the members. But I will talk a little bit about that later. Anyway, right then, let's go ahead and bring in uh, Bryn MRC's question. I'm just going to call you Bryn. I'm just going to call you Bryn. Makes life easier. Um, we're bringing in Wispy, though. 
Wispy is an air elemental uh, in the form of a dragon. So if you hear me talking about my dragons, that's what I'm talking about. I haven't gone bonkers overnight. That happened a long time ago. Um, anyway, so if you imagine this lovely dragon here, this beautiful, lovely, cuddly little wee dragon who's just nesting among these crystals. Imagine this in 3D form, but that 3D form is made out of wisps of snow. No, wisps of air. Wisps of air. Wisps of steam, of smoke, of puffs of, you know, the fine dust that you see on a hazy day as you look through that window, just in the golden hours, the sun is setting and you can see the little hazy dust speckles. Imagine a dragon made out of all of that and the ether and the, the space between and the veils, all of that, that is what Wispy is. And we bring Wis Wispy in by the wind chime and Wispy is my air dragon that helps connect to the Akashic Records, which is where I get the knowledge for the tarot. So we're going to go straight ahead, Wispy. Bryn MRC would like to know what's coming up for my handsome Libra and I in the near future. Ooh, oh, we've had a card jump. We've got the Six of Pentacles. Ooh, that's not a bad card, you know. It's not a bad card in terms of being a, a clarifying or modifying card. That's quite a good option to have. So we're going to place this just about here so you can still see what it is um there you go the six of pentacles now what does the six of it's gonna be one of those streams what does the six of pentacles actually mean well for me pentacles is all about work career and finances excuse me oh look there's my face hello i'm just picking these up off the floor um yeah so it's work career and finances now that isn't just about the money okay when we're talking about work, it can also be talking about effort, the amount of effort that something takes. However, in this particular case with the cards, it is a little bit more about maybe about money because it's talking about being able to donate, help others, being able to help people less fortunate, being able to do all of those sorts of things, if that makes sense. So it is a, a really important uh, um a really important card because the six talks about communities for me and this this is talking about helping giving to others putting things that you no longer need getting getting letting them go and passing them on to people who can use them so that that this idea of having a closed circle um sort of a, a closed circle community basically where you know just because just because one one family's children have grown out of their school uniforms for year four and year three or, or year four and year 10, right? That means then that the, the year five kid can't wear the year 10s because they're going to be far too big. So you give them to someone else and then you've got somebody else's school uniform from year five and year 11 you know what i mean so you it's that's what i'm kind of talking about that that closed circle um community based kind of development right so then wispy we are going to pull six cards for bryn um and see where we go so what is coming up for you and your handsome libran uh, let's have a look so we'll go with uh you so what what is what's heading your way for you? OK, and this is going to be in the next probably the next six weeks maximum. OK, so this will give you a snapshot. This is for you. What's coming up in terms of for your partner and what's coming up for your relationship? OK, because just because we're partners doesn't mean that you have the same lives. So there are differences. And then we'll look underneath and see if we can see a pattern emerging with the subconscious as well. So see how the feelings are right then. So for you, oh, seven of cups, some interesting decisions ahead for you, my darling, for your partner, for the Libran man. Oh, two of swords. OK, again, an interesting card. And then for the relationship overall. Oh, the magician reversed. OK, I'll get onto it. I'll come onto it. Don't worry. Um, and then the subconscious level. What is happening underneath the surface? Right. We've got the five of swords for you. Um, the two of swords we've got matching the knight of wands. Both of these are reversed. And for the relationship overall, we've got the king of cups. OK, OK. OK, all through the lens of the Six of Pentacles. So this idea of supporting people around you. Right then, let me have a quick look. So. 
do, 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 do. Um, the what's coming up for you? Let's let's move these two aside. Right, we'll do this in order. So for Bryn, the next few weeks are going to bring a lot of kind of emotionally based decisions if that makes sense um because the cups is the emotion suit as you know and sevens for me are about difficult choices they're difficult choices that are upright okay so this is an upright card so these are beneficial choices it's a bit like going to a fine dining restaurant right and you want they hand you the menu and they say do you know what today you are our 10,000th customer so you get to dine for free OK, but you can only have a standard meal. You can't order everything off the menu. So just order your standard sort of whatever you want. But you get a free main, a, a free appetizer, a free main, a free side, a free pudding, whatever. And they hand you that menu. And then there's lots of things that you want to pick. This is that sort of card. OK, it's like being handed. There's lots of positive choices and positive opportunities here. What is it that you are actually going for do you know what i mean what are you going to pick because we've got instead of cups per se these are vessels so we've got uh this one that has a snake in there already and then it looks like we've got this i've just realized i've just realized all these years oh my god mods i've got this wrong i have got this this wrong oh my god it's a bloody octopus it's a bloody octopus Oh, it's not a snake. I am stunned. I am literally stunned. It's an octopus. Okay. So, wowzer. That's... <laughs> wow. Wow. I have been I have been completely wrong. Every time I've described this, I've described it as a snake coming down. But it's an octopus that is reaching down for the goldfish. That makes so much more sense. I did wonder why the head of the snake always looked a bit tiny and it looked like it was coming with its tail. But then it made no sense to go the other way. So anyway, you've got these choices, Bryn. And you've got one is the octopus escaping to get the fish, right? The other one, we've got a, a degree or a message in a bottle, something here that's been tied, an important scroll. We've got a little, um, what's those called? Snow globe. We've got a spider trapped under a glass. We've got one of those mushroomariums. There's a name for it, and I can never remember what it is. What is it where they go it's under a cloche, they call it? And you plant a little thing and you grow the mushrooms and you might be able to grow some little mini plants, but it's all kept tiny under the cloche. Anyway, uh, obviously, we've got a fish that actually is a koi cup. Um, it's not actually a goldfish. It looks like a go uh, it looks like it should be a goldfish, but it's actually a carp, um, a, a koi, a Japanese koi anyway. And then we've got the ship in a bottle. OK, so this is saying that in the next few weeks, you've got some really nice decisions to make. OK. It, it, it is like going to that restaurant and saying, right, well, what pudding do I want? All of your puddings are like $500 puddings. I can only have one. What am I going to pick? It's like whatever you pick, there's going to be a part of you that's saying, oh, but maybe I wanted this. You know, I'm picking the, the, the fish in the bowl, but actually maybe I wanted the ship in a bottle. There's lots of good choices coming your way. However, we have got a slight warning as well because we've got the five of swords. Swords is trouble and strife. Swords is challenges, uh, obstacles hurdles okay this isn't coming from you though but the five is is about there still being some uncertainty and this is reverse so this is uncertainty perhaps you're feeling uncertainty from your partner or perhaps there's something here where you're not entirely comfortable in making this choice at this moment because the five of swords it's it's not a complete negative right it's just about if you've got these big choices to make that are involving your emotions, it's like there's a little bit, a little element here about should you choose for what you want? Should you choose what your partner wants? Should you be, you know, maybe nudged by what your partner wants? There's something here that you just need to be, just need to make sure that you're you're making these choices for the right reasons. Okay, put it that way. Um, particularly with this charitable element coming in. It's like if you're getting rid of a load of stuff, make sure you're getting rid of stuff that you genuinely don't want anymore, if that makes sense. For your partner over the next few weeks, I can't believe that was an octopus. 
Wow. For your partner over the next few weeks, we've got the Two of Swords. Now, Swords is all about, as I say, challenges and all about your, um, how can I help? How, how can I say? It's all about things we need to get through, right? Obstacles and hurdles. The Two of Swords is about cross swords, which is crossed words, right? Cross swords, cross words. It kind of matches in. Um, anytime you see water, there's emotion in the tarot deck, right? So in the cups, you can see that we've got the, the, the goldfish bowl here with the water in. Most of the cup cards will have some depiction of water overall. Here, in a sword card, we can see we've got water, but this is a choppy ocean. So it feels like there will be some sort of disagreement with your partner, because I think this two, twos for me, especially in a, in a question like this, twos are about two people coming together. So I do think there's going to be a disagreement. I don't think it's going to be the end of anything, but it is because he's going to be acting like a bit of a dick, right? We're, we're 20 minutes in. I can say bad words now. We are. He is going to be acting like a bit of a dick, a bit of a child, a bit of a spoiled teenager, a bit of a brat. That sort of vibe is going to come through, right, for your handsome Libran. Um, because we've got the night card, you can see we've got the skateboarder not really worrying about their health, um, you know, because they haven't got knee pads on, elbow pads, a helmet, full protective gear wrapped up in bubble wrap, blah, blah, blah. But I know nobody does that in real life, but in the cards, that's what it's depicting. And the fact that they're skating with a flaming torch, again, maybe a bit of a bit of a act first, think later going on with this. It is reverse. So again, this is coming from your other half. So I do think that there is going to be a bit of a disagreement, a few words said, a little bit of a, oh, well, actually, rah, 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 um, but that will pass, right? It will pass. The reason I'm saying it will pass is because when we look at the how the relationship is going overall card, there's there's a magician and a king of cups. Now, bear with me while I talk about the magician because it's reversed. So the magician, as I say, is a reverse card. Now, that's how a, a stereotypical magician looks. In this deck, the magician is far more scientific. However, what they're actually mixing are the elements that we see in the deck. So we've got swords, we've got pentacles, we've got wands, we've got cups. We've also got rose, that's either going to be rose petals, rosemary, rose something. We've got the Ouroboros. There's all sorts of elements going on here. We've got elements on the shirt. So this magician is using all of this, this magical power to create and manifest the world around them. When it's reversed though, Bryn, it can suggest that there's a little bit of a little bit of manipulation going on now this doesn't mean automatic red flag it just means that maybe there's an imbalance here around you know if you go out for example that i gave earlier with a restaurant maybe this is one of those those people your libran who might say oh i'll i'll have the steak and uh brin will have the lobster salad do you know what i mean maybe actually you want steak and chips there's a little bit of that. Just be aware of that. It's nothing out of the ordinary. I don't think it's anything to worry about. I think generally in terms of the relationship, if it's fairly new, I think it's because you're still in that sort of finding out about each other kind of phase. Just be aware, though, because this could be an indicator of some subtle manipulations going on. I wouldn't say entirely um, gaslighting, but just be aware of that. OK, and then we've got the king of cups coming underneath. And I think this is because it feels like the handsome Libran is used to getting their way, right? That's what it feels like because the king of cups, cups again is romance. King is the highest authority before we get to the majors, um, like the emperor, the hierophant, those sort of cards. So the king of cups here is saying, look, there is this romantic connection, um, but it's because of the, this is on the, the subconscious. It feels like it's on the king's, at the king's behest if that makes sense it's it's what the king wants and there's a little bit of you just maybe going along with what the king wants and not make, being able to maybe voice your concerns it doesn't feel horrendous okay i've got to say as soon as the magician reversed i was a little bit like oh i'm not sure about this but with the king here as well it does just feel like maybe this is still that sort of 
you know, dancing around each other moment. You haven't quite had that full on full trust between each other. The six of pentacles is kind of saying here that there is this community element and there is this element of you maybe both of you are getting rid of stuff that you no longer need and this would be a good time if if this if these two cards do kind of hit a little bell even in a little tiny ding bell even if it's just a in the back of your head it doesn't have to be a full-on gong if that does fit then maybe this is giving you that awareness that in the next few weeks if you're aware of this happening maybe then that's when you've got the choice to to actually stand up and say actually i will have the steak and chips thank you and um you know i'm not worried about my figure you love me as i am blah 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 do you know what i mean it gives you that chance hopefully that makes sense bryn um it does really feel like it, it feels like any any disagreements or anything are going to be passed quite quickly it does feel like the handsome libran might be a little bit a little bit entitled maybe a little a little pinch of entitlement going on there that you might just have to have a little conversation about but overall it doesn't feel too bad at this stage if that makes sense so hopefully that makes sense my darling just be aware of these two cards here but i do think there are decisions ahead and there are choices ahead that are going to be interesting and overall quite positive and with that my darling i'm going to say thank you very much for your question and thank you once again for the super chat right then let me come back onto the comments section i'll do that now and i will change camera there we go i know right unfortunately means you gotta see me you gotta see me look at me uh octopi are very intelligent yes yes thank you um What's that? Oh, yours turned up. Yes, I think it was good. I thought it was very good. Just, just not, not, not trying to get anything on camera at all. You understand? Oh, look, look at that. Just reflecting on my bosom. Right, stop bouncing your bosoms on camera, Lisa. That's a whole other stream. That's that's credit cards only. <laughs> never, never do that. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope that helps, my darling. I really, really, really wish I do. Uh, I really. I uh, hope it does. And thank you very much for your super chat. Um, right. I need to mute this because I'm getting I'm having this bing bonged all the time. How do I how do I mute? Oh, there we go. Is that it? No. How do I mute it? Uh, how do I mute it? Oh, there we go. Mute for eight hours. There we go. Sorry, everybody. I've, I've got the WhatsApp up so the mods can message me um, if anything happens or if the stream goes down or if anyone starts, you know, spouting out about something. Then I've got the uh, the WhatsApp up for the mods. And unfortunately, because I've got WhatsApp up, it means that um, all of my WhatsApps are up. So they're all just going bing, bong, bing, bing, bong. I know, right? Sounds good. So then let's go ahead and open up a free round. Let's go ahead and open up a free round. That is what I think we need to do. So once again, the uh, uh, the next round is now open. You can go ahead and still send a super chat. If you send a super chat, that does take preference. However, if you would like a free reading, the round currently is open. So go ahead, put your question into the live chat, starting with the word question that's really important start it with the word question and then once we've got those in i will pick one of those at random okay so if you would like a, a free question now is the time to do it everybody that gets a free reading on this channel gets a three card reading so if you would like one of those go ahead and do that just about now
okay it does look like uh we've got a few people on the stream today but we haven't got another question coming just yet so i'm going to take this opportunity to explain something that a few people have asked in the comment section um about why i don't do oracle readings as um like with a full deck and do a full oracle reading alongside the tarot there is a reason for that now i've got here in front of me um hang on sorry i meant to change channel i've got here in front of me one of my favorite oracle decks okay it's the urban crow oracle it's a 54 card deck and guidebook now this is beautiful okay by the way um mods if anybody wants i'm gonna leave that on and i'm in fact let me put the banner on i am going to do 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 there we go um i'm going to uh leave that on if if a question comes in mods or a super chat comes in just just send me a quick little doodah on the whatsapp um so that i can see it so anybody if you do want a reading you can send it across that's not a problem but i'm just going to explain something about the difference between tarot and oracle because for a lot of people out there you, you look at it and you think, ostensibly, it's the same thing. So we've got some, it would just be that one card, wouldn't it? So we've got some cards and they've got pretty pictures on, right? This deck happens to be, as I say, because it is the Urban Crow deck, it's all about crows. So I, if, if you know me, you know I love crows. I've got a, 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 a stuffed one behind me, um, a taxidermy crow that was given to me by my uh, brother from another mother one of my best friends of all time neil who's um on the channel uh sometimes as a moderator so i do have crows i've got tattoos i've got all sorts i love them they are incredibly spiritual creatures so that's why i've got this deck but this is not a tarot deck right a tarot deck has 78 cards 22 of them are what we call the majors and 56 of them are what we call the minors so the minors will have pentacles wands uh hang on uh swords and cups right and then the rest of the cards in a tarot deck are the major cards so if you imagine a normal deck of playing cards they go ace to ten jack queen king in the tarot deck they go ace to ten page knight queen king so there's an extra four cards and also the suits are very reminiscent of a deck of playing cards. OK, so we've got cups, which would represent hearts. We've got pentacles, which would represent diamonds. We've got wands, which would represent clubs and swords, which represents spades. OK, so you can use and I know a lot of people will use uh, a standard playing card deck and do readings from those for me personally i prefer the images because each deck i use gives the cards a very different nuance a different voice or a different accent with the tarot every single deck of cards they can call the swords i don't know um what have we seen they could call them blades they could call the swords points they could call them knives they're still based on the swords the same with the ones they've been called staves or sticks or whatever pentacles have been called coins they've been called stars i've seen them called and cups has been called hearts or it's been called you know vessels all of these different things but it's always based on the same system um then once those 56 cards and each of these are like important but not screamy cards these are not the big shouty cards these are the big shouty cards the um the named cards if you like so the empress we've got here and the chariot so these cards are named they do have numbers but they are related to where they where their position is in the major arcana and they are they each have this really intense um they have this really intense connection if that makes sense and really intense meanings they scream out now every single tarot deck is different it all speaks the same language ish but they are just from this um but they're all got a different accent if that makes sense right so it's like this particular tarot deck is very open very honest sometimes a little bit brutal gives lots of warnings but is very very 
um, accessible to everybody. There are people of different body sizes, body shapes, different gender identities. Thank you, uh, Patricia. There's people of all sorts of ages, and it's just across the board. Now, in a in an oracle deck, you just have cards, so it's a lot more complex, um, and there is no system. Okay, so this particular deck is the Urban Crow. There is a, a book to it, a little guidebook that tells you what the author intends each one of these cards to mean. Um, but there are just 54 cards. And when one of these cards comes up, so that comes up with Wrath, you can look in the book. But what I do is I, I will go through each card on a regular basis. I'll go through the decks that I use. And I will say, right, Wrath, what does that mean to me? Well, this looks like all-out war basically this looks like the crows are defending their patch they are coming down they are this is literally that murder of crows feeling to me it feels defensive perhaps depending on what the questions are but it could also feel that they are going on the attack it feels in this case bizarrely it feels like something has happened and they are seeking revenge okay again a different card scavenge well, that's literally what it says on the tin. Are you needing to hunt for those answers? Are you needing to hunt to survive? Are you scavenging to survive? Um, with with each of the cards, it's got a different meaning. Now, every single Oracle deck is different. Every single Oracle deck, some have 50, 60 cards, some have 40. The lowest one I've seen is an Oracle deck with about 28 cards, I think it was. Um, and each one of those is different. Now, Oracle decks are far, for me, far less communicative. They give me feelings. They give me senses. So I can add something to a tarot reading, but they're not going to give me that sort of divination element that the tarot gives. Okay, so hopefully that's made a bit of sense. And this is the, uh, as I say, this is a situation where each of these cards in a, in a Oracle deck is different. Each of the decks is different. Each of the meanings is different. Everything across the board is different. And so, yeah, that's why I don't do Oracle card readings, because I would want to use different decks. I've got the self-care Oracle deck just under there. That's one that you'll see pop up on the script on the, the channel quite often. Equally, the um, the Urban Crow, if we want to get a bit more nuance. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll use this today as well as the fifth spirit tarot right then i've seen that we've got some questions in so it looks like i have two questions in one from love good evening love i love that name love and one from m al so then as always let me let me uh, i'm going to keep that on so let me just change take the banner off so we've got two questions in so thank you very much for your questions hopefully by the way that explains why i don't do like tarot and oracle together some people do i choose not to i will use a, 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 a single card from the oracle to add nuance to add depth for a tarot reading if that makes sense right then so we've got two questions in which means it can only mean one thing it's the talisman toss time <laughs> Yes, indeed. Roll up, roll up, roll up. Boys and girls, people of all genders, all ages, come one, come all to the talisman toss time. So what do I mean by talisman toss? Well, normally you toss a coin. That seems a bit boring on a tarot channel. And I've got these wonderful, wonderful uh, tarot cards. Uh, tar talismans, not tarot cards, they're talismans. So what I do in this case is I will uh, allocate one side of the coin, the talisman, to one person and the other one to the next. So the first question that comes in always gets the sigil, the sign, and that is ML. So ML, you are the fire symbol, okay? So you are the triangle with the fire all around it. Love, you are the writing side. So you get the word fire and the obviously witch casket, which is where these talismans came from. Okay, so what we do, how we pick is literally I toss the talisman and it's come up with the writing side so then love it's your question that i am going to read uh ml my darling copy and select and copy your question for the next round once i've done this reading for love i love that uh once i've done this reading for love then um it, well, there will be time because it's only just gone 20 to 8 uh so then i will open up another round 
and then it'll be time to get your question back in. So then, love, let's have a look. Uh, may I know? Hang on, hang on. I haven't done it. Let me do this. We cleanse the space around and I bring in the lovely Wispy, the air dragon, the air elemental. There's a whole podcast episode that me and Neil did about Wispy and my dragons and what they are. That is down below in the description box. So make sure you click on that. It's just before the page break. So there's a lines that go through. Scroll down till you see that. Above that, there's a link that will take you to the YouTube podcast episode. Right then. So Wispy, we've got love here. Not just ah, uh, but also this lovely person's name is love. And love wants to know, may I know what are Jamshir's current feelings or intentions for Sakshi? And that's it's Sakshi who love is love's real name. Uh, thank you so much. Liked in yourself. Oh, thank you. Hope you're doing good. I'm doing fantastic today. I'm having a really lovely, lovely day. Um, thank you, love. So we want to know, Wispy, what are Jamshir's current feelings or intentions towards love? otherwise known as Sakshi. So let's have a look for you, my darling. We're going to cut the cards as we always do. Obviously, if you were here in person, you'd be the one shuffling and you'd be the one cutting the cards and I would just be the one laying them out. But let's have a look. So we'll go with where you are right now, what you need to know about Jam, uh, sorry, where Jamshir is right now, what you need to know about Jamshir's feelings and what the future opportunity for you two is. Right. So where is Jamshir right now? Ooh, five of cups. Ah, so emotions. I'll come to it. Um, where are? What is it that you need to know about Jamshir's feelings? The Ace of Swords. Okay, okay. And what is the future opportunity for the two of you? The Two of Swords. Right. Okay. Let me. I'm going to pop these back just over there onto their box. It's a bit difficult. I've got blooming. Um, I've got the microphone stand in the way. I need to move it, I think. Right then. So where Jamshir is, the Five of Cups is an interesting card, okay? And what there's basically... Hang on. There we go. What this basically means is that there are some... There's a bit of uncertainty and a little bit of doubt that Shamir, Shamir has, but it's not, sorry, Jamshir has. It's not bad, but they're looking at things a little bit negatively when they don't really need to, right? So as I said earlier, anytime you see water, we're talking about emotions. Cups is the emotional suit. The five represents these five cups or vessels here, and three of them look a bit knackered, don't they? We've got a, a, a pop can, a soda can that's rusted and crushed. We've got a broken bottle, and we've got an empty cup with the last drop falling. However, we've also got two upright cups. This one has got a tea bag in it. It looks almost like a handleless tea, uh, tea cup. And then we've got a glass of water. So we've got two cups, but three are dashed. Isn't that sad? Three are broken. But let's just look a little bit closer because that top one right in the center, it isn't broken. It's just empty. And so you've actually got uh, Jamshir is looking at the relationship and is seeing things as maybe a little bit less than they are. They're seeing it maybe as a little bit broken or maybe there are some, some co uh, conflicting emotions in there. Whereas actually you can see here, look, these three cups, this cup is fine. If we hold it upside down, it just needs filling. So actually things are not as bad as uh, Jamshir thinks. Things are not as difficult. They, the hurdles are not as difficult to overcome. There are some hurdles here, which I'll get to, but actually the good outweighs the bad on this. And you just need to think about things a different way, if that makes sense. Now, Jamshir's, uh, where, what you need to know about Jamshir's feelings, the Ace of Swords. Now, this feels like a new hurdle, a new obstacle, a challenge in the relationship. Now, this again comes up because I think they are seeing this situation as far more negative than it actually needs to be because of these three cups. Um, but they, they've, they've, they're in a place right now where there is a new problem to overcome. There's a new hurdle to get over. There's a new challenge to get through and and that is something that you just need to be aware of that's what you need to know okay so whatever conversations happened whatever 
emotional connection you've had, whatever it is between you, it feels like Jamshir is now, there's there's a little bit of a challenge that they need to, to, to get through, if that makes sense. And then finally, in the future relationship, we've got the Two of Swords reversed. Now, because we're looking at things from Jamshir's perspective, I think this is saying that there is going to be a little bit of difficulty between you in the the, the weeks to come. It feels like whatever's happened, it, it feels like this is like almost after an argument or after a disagreement because Jamshir seeing the worst of things is then basically created this hurdle or this challenge to overcome and it's leading to this. I, it doesn't necessarily mean a breakup. Thank you. It doesn't necessarily mean a breakup, but it is something that you're going to need to get through and again this is when when we get the two of swords it is about cross words crossed swords cross swords cross words so it feels like again the emotional every card here has got emotions this one the the water is fog here the water is dark here the water is choppy so i really do think that there is a lot here that potentially you need to sort out if you're going to be in a in a kind of relationship in future because it does almost feel like this is coming off the back of whatever's happened and i hope that helps love i do think you need some assistance here i really do think you need some assistance because it feels like it, it feels like things are going to get worse before they get better i hope that helps my darling i know it probably doesn't it isn't what you wanted to hear um but i i do hope that it helps i'm going to pull a very quick oracle card from the urban crow just to see what um see what the, the oracle card would suggest for you to do okay so this isn't about jam shares current feelings this is about what you should do um or advice for you in this situation let's have a look I've done a cut and we've got wow displacement that's interesting. So it, it feels like maybe your place in the relationship has already been taken by somebody else, if you get my drift. Um, or it could be that you need you need to maybe sideline Jamshir and, and find somebody else that might not come with this sort of feeling, this vibe, because it does feel like things are going to get worse before they get better. Um yeah, and maybe move yourself out of any difficult situations that are there between you. Because again, with these two swords cards coming up after this, I think you know you may well have to remove yourself from a situation if if things go bad. But with that, my darling, I hope that helps. And once again, all I can say is that you know we do do authentic readings. I I I, I could sugarcoat it and tell you that things are going to be wonderful, but that doesn't do anybody any good. So with that, my darling, I'm going to send you nothing but love and say thank you very much for your question. Right then, we've got two super chats in, Clear Thinking 14 and Melinda Brown. Thank you both for your super chats and your donations. How are you doing, Melinda, my love? I hope you're doing okay. Melinda thinks it's that we are related, even though Melinda is on the other side of the world. She thinks that we are related. So then let me have a look. Um, do, 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 do. Um, Oh, thank you, my darling. Thank you. I hope that that helps. And thank you very much for your comments. Right then. So what we're going to do is I've got two super chats in. So I'm going to read for those two super chats. Once I've done that, I will then open up another free round. OK, so that is what um, that's what we need to do. Basically, I'm going to open up another free round. And um, after these two questions, so I've got clear thinking 14. So good evening, clear thinking. Um, you are newly dating someone. Ooh, that means you're in the um, that lovely first phase of, of romance that's i love that first phase i think i'm still in it and i'm eight and a half years on but um it is it's a little bit fun isn't it that first phase how does mr s feel about uh, feel about you and their next actions i just love this newly dating oh my exactly <laughs> gives you all the lovely feelings doesn't it when you're in a first relationship so then we're going to swap the camera back over to the card cam 
And as always, I am going to bring in the ever so lovely Wispy. We could do that by cleansing the space and bringing Wispy's music in, which is this one here. So then, Wispy, Clear Thinking 14 uh, would like to know they're newly dating someone. You, I know, right? How does Mr. S feel about Clear Thinking 14? And what are Mr. S's next actions? So that's what we want to know. Okay. What is Mr. S going to do? And how does how does he feel? Quite simple. Right then, we're going to do one more shuffle round. One. Oh, there we go. We've had a card jump, but not. So when it jumps and it doesn't flip, especially when it's a major, it gives me an idea that there is something unknown something yet to be revealed okay um i have been increasing this as i'm doing readings in 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 person and in private this version of how wispy chucks cards is is starting to shift so it really does feel like this card although it's a clarifying modifying card it's talking about things that aren't clear at the moment, if that makes sense. So that is what we are going to be looking at. So let me have a wee look. Uh, so let me make sure I'm on the, the right screen so I can't see any comments. As always, when I'm doing my, my readings, um, I can't uh, see anybody's questions or comments. So I will have a look at the comment screen after this, if that makes sense. Right then. So clear thinking 14. We've had a card jump, but as soon as we do that, we stop shuffling and we go to your spread. So then we're going to do, how does Mr. S feel about you and the next actions? I'll tell you what, we're going to do the same thing. Where, where Mr. S is in the relationship, okay, um, where, what you need to know about Mr. S's feelings, oh, Okay, and the next actions, uh, sorry, and his next actions, but that comes up in the opportunity. So what is to come? Right. Okay. Okay, right. Connecting the six of swords to the king of wands. We've got the nine of swords from the king of wands to the king of pentacles. We've got the, the chariot and the base of it all is the world. Oh, look, someone took a picture of me as I was going on that skinny dipping holiday that one time. <clears throat> saying nothing saying nothing right i said too much already um so first things first remember tarot is for entertainment purposes only okay you make all your decisions about your own life and this is only for guidance and sometimes you can make a decision that is entirely your right even though the cards might point at something else if that makes sense right so where Mr. S is in terms of the relationship. We've got the six of swords. Now, swords, as comes up a, a few times here, swords is the trouble and strife, the challenge card. Okay. So I do think there is a challenge here that is from where Mr. S is. The, the thing with the six of swords, you can see, as I always say, where there's water, there's emotion. So there's a lot of emotion, but this, this water is dark. It's deep. So these are deep emotions coming through. You've got the six of swords. These swords are actually nails, look, being dug into this boat. The boat is still just about floatable, but there's a hint that there's a little bit of water beginning to build up in the bottom because of these giant nails. You can see the six geese um, moving off and finding their own, looking for their own land, all of that. But this card does feel like there are some issues, some hurdles that Mr. M has. Now, we're talking about where his feelings are. I, I think, I, I think, I don't think he's got good intentions. Let me let me put it that way. Um, this this we we try and keep this as authentic on this channel as possible. It's why it's called Beyond Authentic, and I do believe very firmly that this is not the card of somebody who is all out romantic and in love and all of these things. There is some issues here, choppy waters. So we've got choppy emotions going on, and this six is it's not just about you, my darling. It's about other people. I think there's a lot of questions and hurdles that Mr. S is needing to go through with this card, um, and this is where he is right now. Um, 
in the what you need to know about Mr. S. We've got the red flag card, my darling. We've got the red flag card. Now, this literally is the red flag, right? So the king of wands, wands are all about security, how you see yourself, self-esteem, all of those lovely things. This card is reversed, but that is largely because I said it's how Mr. S feels. So that's why that reversal would come in. But we've got that red flag. Um, and, and what that is telling me is that you need to be very careful about this person, right? It's reversed. It's the king. The king is, is in authority. But the king of wands, when they wield authority, they wield it at the expense of others. This king is a despotic king. This isn't a, you know, king of the people. It feels like this is almost like a political king. Do you know what I mean? This king is has been given power or has taken power. He hasn't he doesn't reign at the bequest of the people. He reigns to him to control the people, um, if that makes sense. And unfortunately, that also takes us to the opportunity card, which is the king of pentacle reversed as well. This is where I think there is a, a an issue. Um, the king of pentacles is about money, career and finances. And this king is wanting to take this money out to remove the money from uh, whatever this is, whatever this relationship is. This king is either doesn't have his own money or is wanting to take money out of the relationship. So, again, another red flag there for me, my darling. When we look at the links between them. Oh, and also through this unseen wheel of fortune, the wheel of fortune itself. Um, has some interesting kind of um, elements to it. So the Wheel of Fortune quite often, I mean, this is quite a, almost a standard depiction of the Wheel of Fortune, but you've got these different elements that are being there, uh, that are in each corner. You've got this idea of spinning the wheel, but you've got a lot of risk and a lot of reward. Now, the problem here is that because this card didn't fully flip. I don't think you're aware of the risk element from the Wheel of Fortune. It feels like the, the, the king, in this case, Mr. S, is, you know, trying to be all lovey, lovey, nicey, nicey. I'm giving you everything. Here's a rose. Here's let's go out for dinner. Lovely, lovely. But they've actually got something, something beneath the surface um, that isn't as nice, if that makes sense. Because once this wheel spins, eventually you're going to land on the on the risk section, you're going to land on the negatives, um, especially because this didn't come up uh, face up. Connecting these two, these cards, though, connecting the six of swords to the king of wands, we've got the nine of swords. And regular viewers will know whenever I talk about nines, I always say the nine is full. The ten is when something is overflowing. So in this case, the nine is full. This is all of all of your all of the negativity, basically, all of the challenges, all of those hurdles. And it's linking the six, so bringing those troubles with, because the boat and the geese, to the king of wands, to the red flag. This is a really, just be very, very careful, my darling, with this, in this relationship with Mr. S, um, because it does feel like there's a lot of negativity around this. Um, and then we've got from the king of wands, the red flag, to the king of pentacles which is about you know money coming out we've got this journey and the chariot's journey the chariot is also seen as a victory card it's a card of winning it's a card of you know look at me i'm coming back from the chariot races and the battles and look what i've won but it's also a journey that goes on it is a step-by-step -step process and this is saying that potentially this step-by-step -step process is going to lead to financial perhaps financial ruin, but certainly a financial drain. And then, my darling, right at the bottom, the root of it all, we've got the world. What does Mr. S feel? What does he want? He wants the world. He wants whatever he can get. Um, again, this is very similar to a standard deck. The uh, the Often it's seen with an Ouroboros, with a snake, or with, as in, in that case on the animation, you can see it's like hedges, it's circling. This is the Ouroboros. Sometimes it's also seen as a uh, picture frame. But this is a stepping point. This is a, a moment in time where you're at right now where if you step through, you enter this world. 
right? It doesn't feel like you're in this world yet. It doesn't feel like you are heavily committed. But if you step through, you enter this darker period um, because we literally look, look, let me show you. Let me show you. We take that center card out and this becomes a past to future and we go how does mr s feel from his perspective there's a lot of negativity in his past that he's carrying with because it's literally carrying forward that negativity in terms of relationship goes up to a nine it's the fullest it can be he's very deeply negative if something triggers i think it will trigger very very badly um this is this is like a light the blue touch paper and step back 20 yards type situation this is uh, a fiery person um we then go to the world and in this case because your question is how does he feel about you and his next actions he wants it all my darling whatever you are going to offer he wants it and everything else not in a i give you my love i give you my heart he wants everything and he won't stop until he gets it right we go from this you go to a journey and that journey unknowing journey perhaps well that journey takes you to the king of pentacles which is all about money it's all about ulterior motives and when we look at this through the wheel of fortune we can see there's this negativity here that carries on going so it's like you spun the wheel and hoping for a good one and you might have ended up with somebody with some issues some control issues certainly maybe some anger issues because of the swords because there's so much negativity here but definitely definitely somebody that is a potential red flag so do please be careful my darling do please 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 be careful now again you do make all your own decisions about your own life tarot is only for entertainment purposes but please do bear in mind that I can only give you the information the cards are giving me. And as soon as these cards started to turn over, I got quite a, a strong, ooh, a, a yuck, a feeling of dread, a feeling of, oh God, please let there be some positivity here. And and I've got to say that there really isn't a lot of positive with these cards. Um, I'm sorry to say that, my darling. I know when you start dating someone, you, you obviously want the best possible outcome. Um, but what I would say is maybe if you've only just started dating, this might be a little, just a little warning flag that, that you need to hear just to take with you, if that makes sense. Um, right. I'm going to, again, I'm going to quickly pull you an Oracle card to see what the crows are telling us. So let me just swap back to that. So then let's see if the, the Oracle card has a way for you to handle this relationship okay that's what we're looking for wispy is a way for clear thinking 14 to handle what is going on with mr s's ulterior ulterior motion uh it, ulterior means or whatever you know the word i'm trying to say his ul ul ulterior motives that's the one so let's have a look how should you handle this upheaval you need to handle it by getting out of the situation oh my gosh as, as tough and hard as it will be to get out, you need to get out of the situation. You really do. This here, look, you can see the crows are, are flying because the tree has fallen. They've got nests and there's eggs and everything else, but they need to get out of that situation. And this is not the time to, to worry about the eggs. This is the time to make sure that you're not caught up in the tree falling over um, so that actually you can go back and rescue what you, what you can at a later point. God, my darling. I'm so sorry for this. This reading isn't probably what you want to hear. But as I always say, I can only give you the answers you need, not necessarily the answers that you want. And with that, my darling, I'm going to wish you nothing but the very, very best and say, you know, please do. I mean, it's your life, but please do think about this relationship very carefully. And if you, if there's a hint of a red flag, if there's a hint of something which, which feels manipulative or feels kind of that you are, not necessarily in equal control, not that you have to always be in control, but in equal control, then please do just, um, yeah, just act accordingly and think about your your own safety. Quite a few times we've seen in, in life that uh, relationships that start off really lovely, lovely, lovely can quite easily turn if, if one of those people isn't being truly honest about their feelings. If one person's in it 
for their own meanings and their own feeling, uh, their own ulterior motives, there's there's a lot. You know what I mean? There is a lot. And we've seen people get scammed in relationships. We've seen all sorts of bits and pieces. So, but my darling, do just please take care of yourself and your own safety. Uh, right then, with that um, bombshell, I, uh, Melinda Brown, I am going to read for you in just a second. I think we need a little, a little moment or two. So I am going to press this magic button. Now, listen, two of our moderators on this channel have wonderful uh, creativity, right? In fact, I thought, uh, let me rephrase that. All of my moderators have a lot of creativity, but two of them run Etsy shops. That's the right way to put it. Um, we've got the wonderful Patricia, who is a wise woman and incredibly knowledgeable about tarot and witchy things. We've got Ed, who is very empathic and very in connection with wild nature around him. But then we've also got Neil and Holland and Neil and Holland have this creative ability about them where they create things that are available on Etsy. Now, this isn't sponsored. I get nothing from them for this, but I will shout them out every single stream because they are wonderful human beings that have wonderful abilities to create wonderful things in very different genres. And I feel that as a very small nano creator on this platform, um, I just want to give them a little shout out. So that's what I'm doing right now. Are you a fan of 80s horror but want something different? Do you like modern horror but the regular magazines leave you a bit cold? Are you a fan of that schlocky horror that no one else seems to talk about? Check out Necronomicon, the UK horror zine from Etsy.com. Just search for Necroneal. Blue Chalice is a small business making crafty creations for the witchy community. From jewellery to wall hangings, witch bells to altar tiles. Why not have a look at bluechalice.etsy.com? YouTube tarot reader, Lisa Lee, has been found using bad language during her twice-weekly live streams. In a shocking turn of events, it has also been discovered that she will not tell you what you want to hear, only what you need to know. The internet is in collective shock that authenticity is alive and well in this corner of the YouTube meta space. Do not watch if you are easily offended. I don't know who made that. I don't fucking swear. You never hear me fucking swear on a stream. It's it's unfucking professional. It is not something that I would ever, ever, ever do. Whoever put that on, I bet it's one of the mods, you know. They are fuckers. I bet it is one of the mods. I have never fucking sworn on a live stream in my entire bastard life. So you know what I mean? I don't know where that came from. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I do use um, adulty language sometimes, sometimes, but you, 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 you've been warned. So, Melinda Brown, I've got your question up in front of me. We are definitely going to cleanse this space, cleanse that space. It's just started raining here, and I can hear it on my window. It sounds so gorgeous because I'm inside and it's nice and warm. But you know what I mean? You know when the window the, the window hits the rain? Yeah, that's right, Lisa. Well done. You know when your rain, rain hits the window and it's that nice pitter-patter, pitter-patter? Let me, I tell you what, hang on. Let me see if you can hear it. Look. I don't know if you heard that. I don't know if you heard that. I don't do ASMR because I don't like it. But there you go. A little bit of raindrops and whiskers on kittens. Right then. <laughs> Wispy, come back, my darling. And we've got a question from my sister from another mister from across the pond, possibly. Uh, Melinda Brown. Melinda would like to... I, I would be the older sister, though, wouldn't I? I would be the older sister. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't mind people saying we look alike, but when you're categorically, like, 20 years... You're, oh, no, actually, hang on. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. If you think we look alike and you're 20 years younger than me, that means I only look 19, because, of course, I am. 39 perennially 39 now 
I've decided. Um, so then what should I do? We got hang on, what? What? First of all, you have a 25-year-old son. How? I'm looking very closely at your profile picture now. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? You look like you're in your early 30s. Wow. Okay. Like, wow. Okay. I wish I had your jeans. Right. How, what should I do regarding the conflict between you and your 25 year old son? That's what we want to know, Wispy. What can Melinda do regarding the conflict between her and her 25 year old son? Let's have a look. Oh, we've had a card that flips. The 10 of cups reversed. Oh, God, my darling. This is breaking your heart, isn't it? This is absolutely breaking your heart. You are flooded with tears and emotions. Um, this is a really difficult one for you to deal with. So as you've heard me say earlier, the nine is when something is full. The 10 is when it's overflowing. Um, so again, we've got the 10 of cups here, but the 10 of cups, you can see, yes, we've got a cup. Yes, we've got a cup, but we've got jam jars. We've got glasses. There is a cup there. We've got vessels. That's a cup that's upside down. This is a cup that's open at the top. So they're all flowing in. You can see, look how much is going on down to a, uh, a baby bottle, uh, a pop, a dog's bowl. All of this emotion is flooding out and it's but trying to be caught. Now, this is reverse. So I think this is something that you haven't been the cause of. Right. I think this is something that's happened to you. So that's your clarifying card. So we'll go through that as we go through the reading. Um, let me just have a look. Right. We're going to do for the initial explanation for the initial reading we're going with the the situation the obstacle and how to overcome and we're doing it as an inverted v wispy okay so the situation seven of swords okay okay so seven of swords sevens are really difficult choices to make and it almost feels like whichever choice you make is going to hurt someone there is no good option here um you can see this sword or this dagger is going all the way through into the nest there's a couple of broken eggs there's nuts and bolts and rings and all sorts that the magpie has put here but you can see quite clearly that this is dangerous all of these sharp blades are going through the nest i mean if this isn't a, a metaphor for family with you know ongoing struggle or challenges i don't know what is literally the nest is being it has been stabbed through with multiple swords so in the uh the situation the obstacle is the six the, the six of wands okay um melinda has has your son been has he got in with a bad crowd because that's what this feels like. The six of wands, six is community, wands are self-esteem, self-control, uh, self-worth, self-confidence, um, all of those things. Um, and this really does feel like your son's confidence or your son's, you know, place in, on the planet ha has kind of been really affected by people around, uh, around him. Um, and then how to overcome... Ten of Pentacles. Okay. I mean, my my initial reaction to that is to lock him, lock him down, basically, institutionalize him in some way, whether that is um, you know, jail, prison, or whether that is mental health support, or but again, if he's 25, it's impossible to do. So I'll have to come to that in a second, depending on what the other cards are. Connecting the seven of swords to the six of wands, we've got the five of swords, because of course we have. Um, the five of swords is again another one about turmoil, things not being fully resolved. You've got two swords that have been laid down or two knives. You've got these other three that have been kind of put there. There's a, a an empty boat drifting off in the distance. And it's kind of like this flag represents, yes, we've won, but at what cost? Um, connecting the six of wands to the nine of pentacles. We've got the nine of cups. 
So we've got the 10 and the 9. This is all sorts of emotion. I, I, I will get to it, but there's a hell of a lot going on, a lot of heartache here. And then we get to the roots. Oh, okay, the two of wands. Okay, my darling. So let's have a look. So uh, let me... Right, let me have a look. Um, right, I've seen I've seen your comments. Uh, you took into that just completely sums up everything that I was just saying. Right, so this situation is terrible for you um this ongoing pain that you must be feeling especially with this 10 it must it must impact you all the time all the time my darling um let's go let's go to the cards this is one where already my heart is my heart is come is is my heart is reaching out for you um so in the the situation as i said earlier i i think this has come about um there's definitely I, I don't know whether there's theft and stealing from you involved it, there probably is um because we've got this magpie which can represent that um tough 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 choices every choice you can make is going to be painful um every choice you make is going to be a difficult one whether you cut him out of your life or whether you you know send him to rehab and, and keep doing that i don't know um it feels like no matter what you do it's going to be painful. Um, again, this one with the six of wands, I, I, I read on the in your comment just then as I, I looked at the, the comments um, about addict and, and a toxic relationship. That will be what this is relating to, the people around your son. I don't think that's going to be resolved anytime soon. But again, I honestly think if, if you can, I, I don't know how the, the law is in the States, but even... It, do you know what? It feels like even if it was a a three month prison sentence or a three month, you know, under mental health lockdown or something, it feels like that would be beneficial in terms of rehab. Because again, as a as a fully grown adult, he can just check himself out of rehab if he's not there yet. Um, but I think that is the only way to overcome this. I really do. I think that's the only way to overcome this this toxicity and the people around him that are keeping him not keeping him but they're enabling him to be in that position if that makes sense um this really as soon as this came up my brain went institution um i, I don't know what that means for you but absolutely the the way forward or the way to overcome this toxicity is down to that if that makes sense is down to some form of institution um because when we connect the seven of swords and the six uh, the six of wands when we get that five of swords it 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 means again we've got more unreal un unresolved issues and unresolved problems that are not going to go away this is not something that you you necessarily can do this is not something that you can fix it almost feels like your your son is going to be the only one who can decide to stay here when things happen unless it's an enforced institutionalized for mental health or for you know unfortunately for crime um because this this just feels again it's like the war is over the battle is won but the in this case, I don't think the war is over. I think, you know, it's continuing. The sun is setting. There's a little bit of respite, but I think that war is going to go on because it, it's linking these these really heartbreaking decisions that you have to make on an almost daily basis um, with him following and being led by the people around him and his, his circle of friends. Um, and I don't think there's any answer to that. It's like you are just mum. And unfortunately, as much as mum is the most important, in some cases, mum is the most important person in the world for your son right now. He doesn't feel that. Um, and I'm not saying that everybody's mum. Obviously, people have difficult relationships with family members. Uh, in my case, it's my sibling um, and, and also was largely my father that I didn't get on with. 
a hundred percent for um but me and my mum were close in other families it's mums that aren't very close but they get on well with you know an aunt or the father figure or whoever grandmother um but yeah this really does feel like he's not going to listen to you no matter what you what you kind of say um because he's got that circle and again every time he doesn't listen to you it's another knife being plunged in your heart my darling gosh from the people around him to where he needs to go for help from where he needs the opportunity to overcome this we've got the nine of cups i i don't think he's going to do it until he's at his rock bottom I know that's such a cliche, but I don't think he is. And I think for you, it's going on with more of this emotion, more of this outpouring, um, because it really does does just feel like until he, because again, this is reverse. So in this case, it's about his connection because you're asking about him until he reaches those, those emotions that are filled with regret and filled with negativity and sadness and all of that until he reaches that point he's not going to do this he really isn't my darling and it's like you could put him you could pay for a rehab for him for three months and he'll, he'll again he'll walk out after a day because he's not there until he's at that point until he's at that point this isn't going to work um the root of it the two of wands right I have got the strangest relationship with this card now because it used to be quite a supportive card. And the more that it's come up and the more that Wispy gives me information about the card and in context and everything else, the more that I see this card as being really double edged. Because in this instance, as we're looking at the cards, this is saying, look. So normally twos are about couples, people coming together, right? Two becoming one, all of that lovely positive stuff. It's all about that. However, in this case, the two of wands for one person to flourish means the other person giving up their spark, right? Because this is a beeswax candle. There is a, a noose here in the, or a knot here in the, the wick. It's a super long wick. Um, I, I've called this a noose, but it's also when I have made candles before, you do get an extra long wick. And sometimes if you're hanging them, if they're dipped candles, you hang them. If it's only on one stretch, you tie a knot and put it through a pole. But I don't think that is this. I think it is actually talking about something having to end. And it's the noose for the match, because to light this candle, the match has to suffer. Like there is no way around it. The match gives up its spark, its energy for the candle and this feels very much like what you have been doing right you give up your spark your your power your your strength to try and help the candle but all the candle can do is to burn right it has no spark at the moment all it can do is take from you or take from people around it to maintain itself but it's in a dark literally in a dark place right this uh, this card has got such a double meaning for me now it, it really does and i think this is what this is trying to say it's like you are giving everything you're you're willing to give even your life for your son if it would mean that he could continue on which is fantastic it's what you know mothers are su supposed to do and all of that but also from this perspective my darling until he's here this isn't going to work until he is in this situation where he is feeling those emotions, where he is feeling that sadness and that depth, he is not able to, to be in a place where he gets that support. Um, and I think for you, how what do you do regarding this? I think you've got to kind of step back is not what I'm saying. Leave the door open for him. Right. As hard as that is, leave the door open for him. If you are the one that puts him into rehab, he if he's not ready, he will walk out. Right. This is this is one of those things where you stay in touch, you help, but you do it with those boundaries in place until there is such a time that this happens. It The fact that these cards are coming up is saying that it feels like there will be a time just not yet right at the moment if you light that candle you're giving everything of you 
and it's just going to burn away. This is not the moment to do that. Um, it, it really does feel like it will come because I've got these cards here. And look, if we take this, if we, we do the usual, we take this out, we look at the situation from past to future, we've got the Seven of Swords. So a really serious, difficult, painful um, series of, of, of choices that you have to make, right? Ultimately painful. Ultimately, there isn't a right choice. But that is leads through this turmoil where it's almost like the battle the war continues over even though sometimes a battle is won so you might get through to him temporarily and then down he goes again into the spirals um which leads to this which is it this this element of you wanting to light a candle in his dark place you wanting to be that light but at the moment he isn't there it, it may be in the future maybe when he gets to this point where he feels that that sadness maybe then he will connect and be able to move forward into that institutional help which is how is screaming at me that that is what he needs but it may not just be a other and other clinic it could be as i say something more intense like um more intense of a rehab program somewhere where he cannot escape um like a jail or like uh you know being put away on the mental health thing um being sectioned but because of the addiction not because of you know everything else that's going on um with mental health is what, what i'm trying to say is like like it will be uh, locked up for rehab purposes not necessarily locked up in a mental health institution because he's 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 mentally ill but it might be that he's in a mental health institution to get clean if that makes sense Overall, my darling, I think, oh, my God, my heart is going out for you. My heart is weeping for you right now. I, 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 all I can say is you're incredibly strong to be going through this. Let me put the other, the other ca mic on, uh, camera on. I think you're incredibly strong to be going through this. And I think in all honesty that you are doing your utmost. It feels like you're doing everything you possibly can right now. Um, and you just need to realize that sometimes the journey of the people around us that we love and care for the most sometimes we can't be in their lives right now um and again to give you a, a personal example is obviously my sibling i can't be in my sibling's life right now because they are incredibly toxic incredibly toxic um and i cannot allow myself to be to have that toxicity around me anymore uh, and I have to do that for my own mental health and for my own my own sanity, my own everything, my own relationships, for everything that is me. I have to protect myself from that toxicity. And sometimes that, to this day, breaks my heart into millions of pieces because it's my little my little sibling that I used to protect. And I can't do that anymore whilst they're as toxic as they are. And again, I, I imagine that as a mother, that is... 500 times worse um so let me let me pull you a crow oracle card and then i'm i'm going to move on because i do have one more reading in so i'm going to pull a, a crow oracle card hang on come on wispy let's give some melinda uh, let's give melinda some some hope what does melinda how does melinda get through this difficult situation how does melinda cope in her own world with everything else going on how what what can melinda do to kind of stay sane through all right let's look so we're going to do your cuts and your card is oh is there another one as well thank you holland thank you holland right um again displacement the second time gosh displacement so again it's talking about don't be in that don't don't be in that situation. That sounds so glib, doesn't it? Um, but maybe, uh, maybe shifting emotionally from that situation, shift out of that situation. Um, yes, thank you. I'm going to do that now. Thank you, Patricia. Um, may, maybe, sh maybe get out of the situation by putting up those boundaries and saying, you can't come to my house again while you're like this. You can't, I, I can't be part of your life. We've tried. We got you the rehab. You walked out. I can't do any more. When you are ready, come and find me and we'll do this together. But for now, 
you you need to not be here and for that display uh, need to not be in my house or around my me and, and all of that maybe that's the way to go and again displacement is a really difficult one but again it may also mean that that you might need a little break a little holiday to displace yourself from what's going on if that makes sense hopefully that helps my darling all my heart goes out to you thank you very much um yeah yeah my heart is absolutely breaking no of course it's not enough because he's an addict he's an addict um yeah he will do all the time you will be the blame for everything um boundaries my darling really tough really tough boundaries um yeah exactly 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 he won't show any respect for you listen at the moment he's not your son at the moment he's an addict so it's a bit like i hate this but it's a bit like being a zombie at the moment he is a zombie right he is a zombie and all you can do at the moment is, and, and you've got the cure the cure is in that institution they can they can take him he can find that cure he can get himself clean he will always be a recovering addict a recovering zombie if you like um to put a, a light heartedness on it he will always be that but he needs to want to be in recovery if not it will just carry on no matter what if that makes sense um no i know they're not i know they're not my darling i know they're not re rehabilitation and that is the problem um that is the problem um yeah Oh, God, my heart is breaking for you, my darling. It really is. It's. Listen, at the end of the day, you've done everything you can. You, as you say, you've emptied your bank account. You've put all the resources in place for him. He just needs to choose to take it. At the moment, he's not able to because all he is is, a, is an addict. He isn't your son right now. He's an addict, right? He's an addict that will use everything available to him including your closeness including your emotions including your familial bond including everything to try and get access to you for money for drugs or to try and get access for more drugs right because at the moment all of his consciousness uh, conscious executive functioning is about drugs because that's what an addict is and until he gets himself clean he's never going to be your son he's an addict and that is heartbreaking and it's breaking my heart to say it on on here i really wish i could say something other but that is what the situation is my darling and i do honestly honestly think that you need to put that boundary in place now and just say look when you're clean i'm here for you until then you're not my son you can't be around right now um you can't be here and i hope that helps i really do hope that helps um yep yep he is he is entitled unappreciated all of those things because at the moment he isn't thinking he isn't a human being right now this is the thing i mean he is right but he isn't he's he's an addict the drugs have him until the drugs are out of his system he's he's just he's he's in the, the drugs are in control and while the drugs are in control he will lie and scream and shout and and cry and do everything he possibly can to manipulate you because the drugs are in control once those drugs are out of his system that's then different if that makes sense and i hope i hope my darling i hope that that helps i hope it gives you I hope it gives you an idea that right now he's not in a place where he's able to accept your help, right? So for right now, you've got to kind of back off and let him let him come to you when 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 he's clean. Leave that door open, um, or leave that door ajar, just a little bit. 
but go on with your life with your your other children and with your life and my darling i hope that helps i really do um and as i think one of the mods i think it might have been patricia said do have a look for support for families with addicts um i know that Alanon has a it is for alcoholic families of alcoholics and and gammonon no there was a gambling one as well and i do believe that um narcotics anonymous or whatever they're called they have a family support group as well so do please check those out um in your area and yeah i hope that helps my heart is breaking for you my darling it really is but i do have to move on um so thank you ever so much for your question um you know you are always 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 welcome here i really really do um it doesn't make it any better my darling it doesn't make it any better you know you're always welcome here to come and chill and come and hang out with us um and yeah be be strong be brave and i hope i really hope that things improve um for you my darling so yeah thank you ever so much right let me i've got to move on to i've got two more where's my readings gone there we go i've got two more questions in the live chat so i'm gonna hit the banner now everybody this is the uh, um right i'll tell you what i'm going to actually do i am going to i'm going to hit a palate cleanser let's let's just for everybody if you need no thank you very much if you need a uh, a palate cleanser i'm i'm gonna play something as soon as i can do this right let's hit a button let's hit um i don't know i don't know i don't really have anything on there do i that's a a nice palate cleanser i guess we're gonna play i'm gonna play this uh Right, I'm going to hit this again. Bear with. Right then, so... Oh, hang on. Nothing's working. Why is nothing working? Hang on a second, everybody. Sorry. Things are not going completely as I want them to. Why can't I save that? Oh, there we go. Right. Sorry, everybody. There we go. Right. So I've got two more readings in. OK, so please don't add any super chats or anything like that. Unfortunately, I cannot take any more super chats for today. Um, I don't want to be in a situation like we were last uh, last. Uh, sorry, on Sunday, just gone where we ended up with a super chat in that we weren't able to get to. So I'm going to go through both of these. Uh, Deanna Estes, good evening to you. You need to put your question in, my darling. I need to know your question. So you've you've sent a dollar, but pop your question into the live chat, my darling, so that the mods can, um, one of the mods then can find it for me. Um, so let me have a little, let me have a little look. Uh, right. So we have Eliza Manzini. Eliza Manzini, good evening to you, my darling. Um, thank you very much for your question and your donation. Let's cleanse the space. There we go. And we're going to bring in Wispy. Okie doke. So let's have a little look. Changing the camera. There we go. So right then, Eliza. How does F feel about you? Will we reconnect soon? That's what Eliza wants to know. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Holland. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. <laughs> Let me have a look. Let me have a look. There we, uh, there we go. I've got it. I've got it, Deanna. Thank you. Um, right then. So let me come off that 
off of that screen. So again, when, when I'm reading, I can't see any comments. So just be aware of that. Whilst I'm doing the readings, I can't see any comments from yourself or anybody else. Um, so just bear that in mind, right? That's three cards. That doesn't count. So then, Wispy, how does F feel about Eliza? Will there be a reconnection soon? That's basically what we need to know, Wispy. So then, there we go. Let's cut the deck. And so then, does how does F feel about you? Will we reconnect soon? Let me have a look. So we're going to do the... Uh, we'll do the... Again, the six card top level is the um, the physical plane. So what's going on in in this world and the bottom level is the subconscious or the emotional element. Right. So how does F feel about you? So we're going to delve, delve into emotions, but we're going to look at your um, where. So this is F's feelings. Um, these are your feelings, okay, and the relationship future, the potential future. Oh, right, okay. Um, and we'll look at the emotional sets as well. Um, so then let's have a look, right, my darling. Right, okay, my darling. So, okay. Oh, gosh. Again, I can only read the information that the cards are giving me. I cannot, um, I, I cannot, you know, bullshit you and say that everything's going to be fine if the cards are saying otherwise. So let me go through. In what F is feeling, we've got the Page of Swords reversed. So Swords is the uh, is the suit of challenge hurdles challenges all of that so that is what swords is about page is youthful energy um a little bit naive sometimes a little bit innocent but is very youthful energy now in terms of how they feel this is a card that is i i think i think f is kind of almost done if that makes sense almost over it they've learned what they needed to learn and now they've learned that they don't necessarily want to go on any forward because of this reversal. And it really does. If it was the other way around, I'd say there's lots of things to learn, challenges about learning and moving and growing and all of that. But also you've then got this nine of wands. I, I don't think F. I think whatever's happened, whatever split or whatever disconnect has happened, I think I, I think F is over it. I really do, because you've got the nine of wands here. Wands is about self-esteem, self self-confidence, self all of that, how, how F sees himself. And I, I think F is, I think F is fine. Absolutely fine. No problem. They see themselves as being absolutely 100% good to go. There's no negativity here at all. Not quite full on arrogance, but getting up there. So they're really, really confident. Doesn't feel like whatever disconnect or whatever connection you had, kind of they're not missing it at all, okay? And I really hate to say that, but that is genuinely what, what this, this double action card set is giving. Um, what you feel, however, is completely different because you've got the Knight of Cups. Cups is the emotional suit. You've got one upright, one reversed. So on the surface, I think you're kind of a little bit like, it's okay, uh, kind of a little bit like moving on and everything's okay and I'm all right. I'm not heartbroken, but I'm moving on because you've got that teenage rebellious energy here, right? But that is a mask hiding what's underneath. You've got the three of cups reversed. You were wanting, I bet at some point, um, if you two were in a relationship, you thought that this would be the one that he, this is the person I'm going to be in a long-term relationship with. We can adopt some pets. We can get some children. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, adopt some children or have some children and get some pets. We're going to settle down into a house. We're going to take things to that next level. That isn't just about the two. It's about what comes after the two, which is, you know, children, pets, mortgages, rentals, all of those things doesn't have to be a kid, but all of those things come after when you've been together with somebody for a while. So on the surface, you're kind of saying, do you know what? I'm okay. It's okay. 
But underneath, I think you're really cut up about the fact that F, that that connection has somehow dwindled or faded or moved on. Uh, in terms of relationship um, potential, relationship in the future, you got the ten of wands, my love. I think it is over. You've literally got a bonfire here. Um, as I say, when I said about the nine, the ten of wands is completely overflowing. So this basically is telling me that, listen, if you two got together again properly into a proper relationship, it would burn. It would be so it would be too much fire with too much kindling. It would be one of those really. Like dramatic endings if that makes sense there's no possible here with the ten of wands coming in with the nine coming in on on f's like hidden emotions there is nothing here that is love related or anything else this ten of wands can in some cases in some positions in some spreads can be a positive card but it tends to be oh my god we are now burning through this super super fast and now it's gone. So I do not think there is anything here long term. It could be if you did reconnect, it would be for a, a physical connection. If you know what I mean, a shag. It would be for a fuck. It, and that would all it would be. Nothing else. It would literally be a booty call. Because underneath this, we've got the Ace of Swords. So what is going on? If you were to reconnect in what way, it would be the start of something worse the start of something bad because the source is the trouble and strife the challenges the obstacles and the ace is new beginnings so even if even if this didn't result in crotch rot you know where you pick up something from from the interwebs and uh, not from the interweb sorry where you pick up something from f you know like uh std or something like that if it wasn't that then it will literally burn and and destroy everything down to its down to the foundations right everything would burn and it would just leave this massive 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 ongoing challenge ongoing shitstorm basically for you to deal with so when it says will you reconnect you might do you might reconnect not physically i, I mean not emotionally but physically possibly that could possibly be there. But again, should you reconnect is the, the question you should be asking. And from what this is telling me, my darling, I think your feelings for F were a lot stronger than F's feelings for you. Your feelings probably continue in a way sort of like, oh, well, if he came back, you'd have a lot of, you know, a lot of apologizing to do. But I would take him back or take them back or take her back. Um, but whether you should, I don't think you should. I hope that helps, my darling. I really, really hope that helps. I would say, do you know what? Lesson learned, lucky escape. Let's just turn over a new chapter and find G. I think G comes after F, doesn't it? Yeah, let's find G. Okay, you've gone, you've gone through F. Now let's go for G or um, just you know H or I or whoever, whoever comes next, right? But I would not in any way, shape, or form reconnect with that person because it, it it feels dodgy. Um, and also it wouldn't surprise me if you did reconnect that you wouldn't end up with crotch rot. And with that, my darling, I'm going to say, I don't think I've ever said crotch rot on a live stream, but there you go. With that, I'm going to say thank you very much for your question and thank you very much for your super chat. Again, I am sure it's not the answer you wanted to hear right now, but as I always say, I can only give you the answers that you need. If you wanted me just to tell you, yes, everything's going to be fine, that's not this channel, that's not this type of reading. Um, but I do hope that helps, my darling. And as they always say, forewarned is forearmed. And I wish you nothing but the very best for you moving forward into a, a healthier relationship or connection. And I hope that that helps, my love. Um, right then. So let me go into the live chat again. Thank you very much. Um, you wanted more. You wanted to know him more. It's so sad that it's over. Yeah. Feels like so much potential was wasted. I think you got a lucky shot. A booty call only. I think it will only be a booty call. I really think it would only be a booty call. I think it would. Um, that sounds nuts. Wow. I really thought he was so different than this. You see, you see what I mean though? Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. Thank you. As exactly as a wise woman once said, thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. 
Um, no worries, my darling. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. It's why the channel is called Beyond Authentic. We try and do things as authentically and honestly as we possibly can here. It's how I live my life, not just uh, on the YouTubes, but I do. I am a, I am a bugger for, for saying the honest thing and getting myself into trouble. I've learned sometimes that sometimes you don't have to speak the truth. You just don't have to speak bullshit, if that makes sense. You can sometimes keep your mouth shut. There is a, a middle way. Um, you don't always have to just go, you're a bit of a dick, you, aren't you? And then you go, oh, no, sorry, I didn't mean to say that out loud. It's just those are my inner thoughts. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I've got one more reading. <laughs> also, I don't realise how sometimes when I do these readings, I come across as dead seven, dead seven, seven, seven. Ah, oh, thank you, Bryn. No worries, my darling. Anyway, let's move on to Deanna Estes. I've got your donation here. So your reading is, your question is there. What is unknown to me in my love connection and what will be the outcome? Okay, my darling, I'll have a look at that for you. What will be, I know, Melinda, I know, I know. It is the only words that came to my, my brain to describe it. I, I, that's literally for a split second, that 10 of wands, my brain went, that's like itchy crotch. That's like burning burning down there that's like all of that that's 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 what that is don't know why crotch rock crotch rock anywho right so we're going to for the last reading tonight this is the very last one i will be back on sunday at 7 p.m uk time or 6 p.m uk time for our channel members now there is going to be a, a few changes happening in terms of memberships which will become revealed later down the line but the live stream will always be 6 p.m. UK time on a Sunday evening for the members only live chats. And um, we might add more to that. This Sunday is the Q&A. So if you are around, if you are a member, don't forget the Q&A is this Sunday coming. You get to ask me and potentially my other half, anything that you want, any question you want, you can ask. It's not a tarot string, but you can ask any personal questions. We can have a chit chat, whatever you want to know, um, how I got into witchcraft, what, what I do when I'm not streaming, anything at all that you want to know, you feel free to ask. It doesn't mean I'm going to answer every single question because, you know, bedroom questions, maybe not, um, unless it's what colour red is on your passion wall? Then I'll tell you the, the name of the paint. But you know what I mean? That's about it. Anyway, right. For the last time tonight, Deanna Estes, this is your tarot reading. Cleansing the space. And we're bringing in for the last time tonight, Wispy. You've been wonderful tonight. Absolutely amazing. Thank you to, to the lovely Wispy for connecting with the Akashic Records for me and bringing all this lovely information. Uh, Wispy, tonight's final reading is for Deanna Estes. And Deanna would like to know, what is unknown to me in my love connection and what will be the outcome? So what is unknown in Deanna's love connection and what will be the outcome? Let's have a look. So then let's let me drop those. I do have where was my I've got an interesting spread. Bear with me one second. Let me just see if I can find this interesting spread. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay, I can work with this. Um, uh, let me just, sorry, bear with me. I'm just double checking. Um, I've got a love connection spread. Okay. So then, I'm going to do a six card reading in a, a bit of a different way, maybe. Um, so then, let's have a look. So we're going to do what is unknown to you in your love connection. So first of all, did I do, did I, yes, I did do the split. No, I didn't. <laughs> What on earth? I've entered Mario land, Mario world. What was that? I don't know what that was. Apologies if you heard that. No idea what just <laughs> God, the, 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 the computers are taking over the world and they're doing it with Mario sound bites, apparently. So 
what is unknown to you in your love connection? I don't know if I did the cut, but I'm feeling the, the urge to do it again. So that's what we're doing. So then, my darling, we go with a we're going to do a general glimpse into the near future. OK, so we're going to see what is happening. So let's have a general glimpse. So, oh, the Queen of Swords. OK, so your love connection, what is happening soon? Hmm. This doesn't fit. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm calling an audible. Right. We're going to keep that card on. No, we're not going to keep that card on top. Wispy, I'm calling an audible. I'm changing the spread halfway through because that does not feel relevant. So, Wispy, we're doing. We're doing the. Let me have a look for the spread. Sorry, everybody. That very rarely happens. I just went. Nope, 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 nope. What is unknown to you in your love connection? Right. So we're going to look at the. Uh, what's unknown? What's unknown? Right. OK, I've got it. We're doing a six card inverted V with the uh, you, your path and the potential. Right. Wispy. So. Deanna, Deanna's path and the potential. So then, Deanna, this is what you need to know about your love connection. Here we go, Page of Pentacles. So this is about how you love, and this is about where it comes from, from your perspective, because um, that's what we're looking at. Then we'll look at your path. So your path moving forward. Ooh, you've got a journey coming up, a, a, a spiritual or, or possibly physical journey. And then we've got the, uh, what did I say? It was the potential. The potential again what is that potential coming up for the out oh, i'm pointing to the screen what is the outcome the potential outcome mm, the eight of swords right then so connecting the page of pentacles to the chariot what is the hidden message what is the hidden connections here we've got all oh, the ace of pentacles reversed and the emperor coming up Okay, and the root, the root of everything, the 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 impetus, the um, yeah, the spark. What is behind it all? What is the final boss, if you like? Five of Wands. Okay, okay. So, what's unknown in terms of your love connection? The Page of Pentacles, you love very openly. You love very, very openly. Pages are very youthful figures. Now, Pentacles is work, career, finances, but it also means growth. And I think there is a certain element here about that growth pattern for you. But you can see here, we've got this rainbow. We've got this child at the beach on the sand, a little bit of shadow, or is that water in the background? Can't quite tell. And you've got this lovely person with this creature. Look at that. It looks like a, a creature. It's actually a bulb that they are going to plant. OK, so it's in wonderment. You've got this lovely rainbow going on, lovely idyllic situation. They are going to plant this rainbow. But can you see? There you go. Look, I have to hold it up. I'm not going to plant the rainbow. So they're going to plant with the rainbow because this bulb is glowing. Right. This is glowing positive energy so it feels like when you love you put roots down you love deeply those roots go in and you expect that to grow you expect that to you know flourish into giant plants and have wonderful gardens and brightness and loveliness partly that is because of the page element though it's a little bit of naivety that's not necessarily a bad thing but it can mean that when you do meet somebody um, or when you do have that love connection, that you've just got to be a little bit careful as to, you know, the other person being as honest and upfront as you are likely to be. Um, in the uh, what your path, where your path is heading, we've got the chariot. Now, again, the chariot is all about a journey. So it feels like your love journey is kind of heading in a particular direction that you might not want it to go in okay so because you've got this innocence here i'm 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 immediately questioning whether there is some honesty and a truth that is coming out that maybe you don't want to hear 
and that's why the chariot is reversed so maybe with your love connection your current love connection whoever that person is maybe there is going to be some sort of reveal that will shift it and take it in a new direction that you don't necessarily want it to go in if that makes sense it doesn't mean it's a negative it doesn't mean there's a breakup or anything like that but sometimes when we find out more and more about our our lovers our spouses our loved ones as we get to know them deeper we may find out information that slightly changes how we view them and not everybody wants that change to happen right if you meet somebody for the first time and everybody has a past and you you basically just say well i'm meeting you for you if it turns out that they were you know a murderer or it turns out that they were a particularly nasty person in in you know a previous in their their own early life but they've paid their dues to society and all of that and they are now a really good person knowing that they had this past does that affect how you feel about them for most people it will have an impact and this and again i'm not saying that your love connection was a murderer or something vicious and nasty like that but it's just the more we understand people sometimes we find out things we didn't want to know does that make sense? But we don't know that we don't want to know it until we know them. And that kind of feels what the chariot is saying. There's a bit of a journey to go on here. It does lead to the blindfold being lifted. It, it, it leads to um, clear clarity and clear thinking. So this pair of scissors is actually, this ribbon is bound around all of these scissors, blocking them from opening, it's not revealing any secrets. Everything is tied and bound. Once that's cut, these scissors can release themselves. They can talk openly. They can say their truth. Again, I know scissors are scissors, but if, if it was humans, if it was people, that's what it's representing. It's representing this idea of truth coming out and truth being told. Blindfold is lifting. It is, however, reverse. So again, I think there are truths to be told that aren't necessarily going to be wanted to be told if that makes sense I, I don't know if that makes sense to you but it really does feel like when the truth comes out it will alter things but will also it's like all the cards are on the table now do you know what i mean so we had to have a sip of my drink um the hidden underneath this the the hidden layer underneath we've got the ace of pentacles money and finances are coming into play here so somebody this is about money uh, but it can also be about growth because pentacles is also about growth as i said here and we've got this same bulb from the the page to the ace but this is reversed which means the the potentially the person that started this isn't necessarily you it could be that your love connection if you're with somebody at the moment that they have started this new project around money and growth either way if it was you that started this hidden thing i do question i think this is growth but i think this is finances i don't know why it feels different to me but it does it feels like again, again because it's hidden it, it it it's sort of somebody's somebody's motives are more financial um or not necessarily financial not like they're coming for a hundred thousand dollars right it's not that it's more like they want that stability that being with you might bring if you've got a house if you own property or if you rent a property it's like oh well, you can they can move in with you that resolves some issues and they can you know there's, there's already a property there that you're living in and it's fine i'll just come and live with you and i might pay a little bit towards rent but it's still a lot cheaper than me paying as a single blah 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 do you know what i mean there's those sort of feelings also hidden is the emperor now this is really important because the emperor in this deck is the architect the emperor is the one who is thinking through at all times the ramifications of their actions they are always thinking it's like the chess player that ultimate chess player they're thinking three or four moves ahead this emperor makes those big final decisions okay and they've got all of the tools around them to alter lives to alter situations and to change blueprints so this is really coming up i think whoever your love connection is it's almost like they have 
they have the final say they have that power if you like to change the relationship as they see fit so be very very mindful of that again you're asking for what's unknown this is in the hidden section so just be aware there's there's something that has started because it makes it easier for them in terms of financial um outlay or in terms of support even um that they they are wanting out of it and they're able to make changes to the structure of the relationship or they're able to make changes as the relationship goes along um because they are in some kind of authority that's the kind of original emperor i think i've seen the emperor four times this way this day uh, this stream um at the root though we've got the five of wands what you need to know about your love connection and what will be the outcome i think you need to know very 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 firmly that you have the ability to change and to do what you want this five is all about turmoil and and things not being resolved so you've got this element of wands which is your sense of security your sense of self your sense of self-esteem five wands here five branches this one's just burning this one's been made into a pitchfork. This one's been made into a baseball bat. We've got one on fire as a torch and one that's got is just a four by four with or a two by four, whatever they call it, with a nail in. Right. All of this turmoil going on underneath the hornet's nest. So you've got this element with the five of wands that is talking about it being kind of you're you're not comfortable with the situation. You're not entirely like it's it's not embiggening you it's not right rising you up it's not creating something where you feel better for being in this relationship it almost feels like you've got really mixed feelings at the heart of it about whether or not you should go forward but it's not about your 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 love it's not like you don't love this person it's very much more that actually is this person helping your sense of your sense of self-esteem is this person actually undermining you and your sense of esteem because these two cards kind of say that actually on the hidden surface this is more important than what you want to achieve so it almost feels again look we, we take the chariot out we get a past to, to future reading we go, this is you loving very deeply, even though it's not a cup card, it's you loving very deeply. It's that cup connection where it's rainbows and, and bunny flowers and hearts and flowers and oh, everything's really cutesy, Disney-fied because of that innocence that's coming in. But ultimately, you want to plant the bulbs for the long-term future. On this level, somebody else is planting the bulbs for a different meaning, for a different reason they're not planting it to be with you because they want to be with you maybe there is something else here going on because this person is also this architect this is what is linking but we go to the root where right at the very base of it you yourself are not feeling comfort confident you yourself are not feeling your truest but um you know most authentic self you're not the the usu you can be because of this turmoil because of their things that are constantly shifting and it's not like it's it's not that things are bad. They're just shifting. You know what I mean? It's like the goalpost keeps being moved because of the emperor's actions leading at some point. This this this. The, the blinkers are going to come off at some point. Everything is going to be opened up and everything is going to be revealed. OK, so you're literally asking what the outcome will be. The outcome will be the truth will come. And it, it's going to be difficult. Um, and this, I don't read more than six weeks into the future as standard. So this is coming up very soon. Okay, my darling. Again, it's probably not the reading that you want to hear right now. But again, I can only give you the readings and uh, that the cards are giving me. Um, so I really, really, really hope that that helps. And again, thank you very much for your donation. And thank you very much. For your question tonight um i do hope that helps diana i really really do and as, again as i say forewarned really is forearmed i i think that if i had to give any advice unsolicited advice in this case i would just say keep your eyes and ears open and if something trust your instincts trust trust that naive little heart of yours right if you get for a second if you get a, a feeling a feeling of a wobble for one second then 
listen to what your heart is telling you listen to that innocence because again this is not a card of love and romance this is a card of growth uh, but it is lovely and and you know you've got the lovely feelings with the rainbow there but this is not there is nothing in this in this reading that has a single cup so i i think there is nothing here where true emotions are there for either of you um apart from you maybe wanting it to grow into something where those deep emotions are there anyway my darling i really hope that helps thank you very much for your question thanks for the donation thank you for being here on the stream today um let me have a look very quickly in the live chat we have gone 11 minutes over sorry mods um let me have a look yes that's true you've seen a new sign of side of him recently yeah you're very mixed feelings and you know he's undermining you mixed feelings that's that five my darling that is that five that is that five uh, no problem. A crow oracle card. Yes, of course I can. Sorry, my darling. Of course I can. I will grab you a crow oracle card right now. So then let's see. Oh, excuse me. Wispy. How does Deanna get through this? What is with the crow oracle? What does Deanna need to know to get through this? How does Deanna resolve this love connection with this person? Let's have a look. We'll pull your card. We'll do the drop. It's a bit weird doing it this way because I have to hold my hand so high. There we go. And your card is, what is it? Distance. Oh, oh, oh. Distance yourself from this person. Get yourself some space. Get yourself some head space and some distance. Look at the beautiful crows. Get yourself some distance, right? This is where you need to be out of that immediate environment. Um, whether that is whether that is to actually you know go and visit a friend go and visit some family for a little while um but yeah get some distance get some headspace uh if if you met this person in a circle of friends kind of don't hang out with that circle of friends for a little while just kind of chill out maybe you know hang out with other people um but yeah definitely you need to get some some distance here because it really does feel like look we've got all in the background, you've got all of these houses, and yet the crows are here on the countryside just watching. I think you need some space, right, my darling? Get some head space, get some physical space, help kind of get a bit of distance. That way you aren't tempted to ring up and make those connections again. Um, but yeah, I do think you need to get some distance from, from this person. And I hope that that helps. I've just realized I've just put the cards away in the box without putting that one in. Anyway, uh, okay, that's what's been happening. We have had distance on and off. Maybe you need the distance on. Le distance mode on. That's what you need. Um, and yeah, I hope that helps, my sweet. I really do. Thank you very much for your question. Thank you for the donation. And I will, again, I, I will wish you nothing but the very, very best moving forward. Thank you, everybody, for tonight. Tonight has been a very interesting stream. We've got a lot of readings done, haven't we? We did one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six seven readings in total plus i talked about the oracle cards earlier so yeah thank you ever so much for joining don't forget i am back on sunday evening 7 p.m uk time to come and watch me or come and join the readings if you would like a, a question asked or answered i should say um but you can also come and join us at 6 p.m uk time if you are a member so the membership details are currently over at buymeacoffee.com forward slash beyond authentic you can also book a private reading there but that is where the membership details are so if you would like to join the channel membership you can do the five dollar uh, or five pound whatever it is um rate will get you access to videos a day early normally when i when i'm doing the witchy videos and also access to the weekly live streams where you can in fact ask a longer question and get a longer reading because that is always available to the members over there but that's going to be it for, for me tonight thank you so much to the moderators for keeping the stream running and helping me out no end today thank you very much mods and of course thank you for subscribing and thank you if you are one of the lucky people that asked a question, got a reading or even super chatted. And again, thank you so much for those donations. But that is it for me. And as I always say, stay you, stay true, stay authentic. And I will definitely see you on the next one, which is Sunday. Bye bye. <laughs>